Light art or luminism is an applied art form in which light is the main medium of expression. It is an art form in which either a sculpture produces light, or light is used to create a «sculpture» through the manipulation of light, colors, and shadows. These sculptures can be temporary or permanent, and can exist in two distinctive spaces, indoor galleries, such as museum exhibits, or outdoors at events like festivals. Light art can be an interaction of light within an architectural space. Light artists are those that devote all their creative experimentation to light art. Some artists experiment with light and neon signage and use light in their practice. Topic: History. The first examples of modern light art appeared after the discovery of electric lighting made long-term lighting safe and affordable at the end of the 19th century. Light art however didn't become a dedicated form of art until the late 20th century, due in large part due to pioneering work begun in 1969, as part of an experimental program at the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, by Robert Irwin and James Turrell. Modernism, Constructivism and the Bauhaus Light has been used for architectural effect throughout human history. However, the modern concept of light art emerged with the development of artificial electric incandescent light sources and experimentation by modern artists of the Constructivist and Bauhaus movements. Pronenraum, Prune Room, 1923, by L. Lisitsky, is considered by many art historians to be the first time an artist incorporated architectural lighting elements as a component integral to his work. The first object-based light sculpture was the Light Space Modulator, 1922–1930, by Laszlo Moholy Nagy. Experimentation and innovations in theatrical light have often influenced other areas of light use, such as light art. The development of modernism and the electric light go hand in hand. The idea of the modern city with high rises and electric light epitomizes this development. All visual art uses light in some form, but in modern photography and motion pictures, use of light is especially important. However, with the invention of electrical artificial light, possibilities expanded and many artists began using light as the main form of expression, rather than solely as a vehicle for other forms of art. Constructivist Naum Garbo experimented with the transparent materiality light reflects on an object. His Linear Construction No. 1 1943 provides an example of this. Marcel Duchamp's hat rack 1916 and 1964 hangs from the ceiling and casts a shadow against the wall. Art critic Hilary M. Sheets explains that the interplay of dark and light has been a theme running from Greek and Roman sculpture to Renaissance painting to experimental film. But as technology advanced from the glow of the electric light bulb to the computer monitor, artists have been experimenting with actual light as material and subject. Topic: <laughs> Luminokinetic and op art (1950–1970). Topic: Minimalism. Topic: Neon Art, 1980s. Topic: <laughs> Projection Mapping. Closely associated art forms are projectors, 3D map projection, multimedia, video art, and photography, where light technology projects images rather than using light as the medium. Large light festivals and events have helped to develop the use of light on large canvases such as architectural facades, building projections, the flood lighting of buildings with color, and interactive media facades. These forms of light art have their antecedents in new media-based, video art and photography which are sometimes classified as light art since light and movement are important to the work. Digital graffiti 
Also included in the light art genre is the so-called light graffiti including projection onto buildings, arrangement of lighted windows in buildings, and painting with handheld lights onto film using time exposure. Light painting Light art installation An example of a light art installation was that of artists Mel and Dorothy Tanner, who began adding light to their paintings and sculptures at their studio in Miami, Florida, in 1967. This was the same time period as that of light and space artists James Turrell and Robert Irwin in Los Angeles, on the opposite U.S. coast. The Tanners worked very closely for over 40 years until Mel Tanner died in 1993. Their main project was the creation of Lumonix that consists of their light sculptures, live projection, video, electronics and music as a total art installation. Author and art historian, Michael Betancourt described this conceptual art as a Gesam Kunstwerk in his book, The Lumonix Theatre, The Art of Mel and Dorothy Tanner, published in 2004. Dorothy Tanner, born in 1923, continues her light art from her studio in Denver, and co-directs the Lumonix School of Light Art with Mark Billard. Displays Museums Many modern art museums include light sculptures and installations in their permanent and temporary collections. The Center for International Light Art in Unna, Germany is currently the world's only museum dedicated exclusively to the collection and presentation of light art. The Light Art Museum in Eindhoven, Netherlands, another museum dedicated to the display of light art, closed on December 5, 2010 due to insufficient funding, but at the Stripe S complex, one can see the Fackel by Ha Hollands, Dan Roosgaard's Crystal, as well as part of the Light Festival Glow. Many well known art museums, such as the San Francisco Museum, of Modern Art and the Museum of Modern Art in New York, often have temporary light art exhibits and installations in their galleries. <laughs> light festivals Light festivals and the Smart City LED revolution was driven by outdoor urban light sculpture with low-energy LED luminaires. Light artists were able to create new exhibition spaces collectively in the form of light art festivals. These festivals have continued to grow internationally and help to highlight ecological change. This LED low energy movement dates back to the 2009 by the Vivid Smart Light Festival in Sydney. In Singapore, the I Light Marina Bay Festival Asia's only sustainable light festival was first hosted in 2010. There are many light art festivals, especially in Europe, including the Signal Festival in Prague and the Ghent Light Festival. Light festivals and LEDs have redefined light art as an art genre. Singapore <laughs> Light Art Awards The International Light Art Award, presented by the Center for International Light Art UNA and the RWE Foundation, is given to up-and-coming artists who will contribute to the development of light art in an innovative and creative way, and has been in existence since 2015. The award is meant to encourage artists to explore light art, despite the difficulties the relatively new style faces, including the financial and technical requirements needed for a light art exhibit. The foundations behind the ILAA also wish to put emphasis on sustainability and new technologies within the medium of light expression. The Australian and New Zealand Engineering Illumination Society ANZIES began giving an annual award to light artists at the Vivid Light Festival in 2010. Vivid Light Festival grants help support local and international light artists in the pursuit of their medium. 2015 the DARC Awards, supported by Mondo Arc magazine, began selecting winners for their Light Art Awards. The International Association of Lighting Design the IALD, a North American-based organization, also gives out an annual award for light art. <laughs> <laughs> Topic. 
Artists working with light Grimanessa Amoros Jim Campbell Olafur Eliasson Tracy Emin Dan Flavin H. C. Gillia Jenny Holzer Robert Irwin Anne Veronica Janssens Bridget Kawans Yayoi Kusama Glenn Ligon Teddy Lowe Raphael Lozano Hemmer Tatsuo Miyajima Ivan Navarro Major Petrichor Bruce Munro Dan Rusgard Keith Sunya James Turrell Leo Villarreal See also LED art Snow Lantern Kunsthal Detroit, a light art institution <laughs>